So after a whopping 33 games with Schmeichel, I thought it's probably about time to get a review on him. Normally when it comes to keepers, it's very hard to get a review after a few games. And in general, in terms of clips, it's even harder because obviously you have up and down games. You might go against someone who is 10 times better than you, or you might go against 15 people that just cannot shoot against you. So you end up with nothing. So at least at the moment, you can kind of see I've at least played with him for a while. We've din done a whole champs with him. We've played a few rivals with him. We'll go into some rivals now and hopefully come up against at least some ability players. He is coming in at the moment at 305,000 coins and I believe right now he is the most uh, high, well, highest rated goalkeeper you can currently get. Now the big thing with him, oh in fact all black as well of course. The big thing with both of them is the fact that they have the ability to go up. All black has more than an ability but whether, is it Slovakia? It's Slovenia isn't it? Yeah. Whether Slovenia goes through We'll soon see. So there is a chance for All Black to get to the 99 if Slovenia do win the Euros. I believe they get one for winning the first game or a game. Uh, a play style or I believe another upgrade potentially for the third game. And then obviously you go quarterfinals, semis and finals. Whereas with Schmeichel, he only has the ability to go up with uh, a two goals for Denmark. And then an extra play style plus or a 99 face stat if he does manage to get the four goals as well. Now, I believe EA have come out and said that basically goalkeepers are not having play style pluses. Um, so it more than looks like if that's the case, they'll either give him another upgrade or they'll give him the 99 face stat which I'm kind of hoping is speed because nothing else will really matter to be honest he has got the goalkeeping traits he's just missing on rush out which is fine let's jump into him and we can kind of discuss him a little bit further so now actually getting into Schmeichel Honestly, he's been solid. He's been a great keeper. He's not necessarily made too many mistakes. He has the ability to go up, which I think is absolutely fantastic. We love that when it comes to keepers, especially when they are as close to max level as he is. It's it's definitely a nice upgrade. And if he does manage to get that 99 face stat, that would be absolutely phenomenal as well. Just to add that extra little bit about him, especially when he's only 300,000 coins as well. It just, again, kind of plot uh, makes the plot a little bit thicker with the keeper because we've not necessarily well I suppose we have had Chesney and we've had a lot of team of the seasons but to be fair nobody's really stepped up to the mark where I'm like okay he takes out like a Van der Sar or takes out a big keeper now I still think just as a spoiler alert I do think that Van der Sar is still better um I don't think by much to be honest with keepers I, I've been absolutely fine with Schmeichel. I've been fine with Casillas with Donnarumma with Koble with Chesney there isn't necessarily anything that, that kind of changes with a lot of these to be fair and I think it just goes down to me thinking and, and it, might, it might literally just be a perception thing now that I do think Van der Sar is the best keeper on the game and that's been the same for many many years now he's just been number one but I don't think there's that much in it to be honest with you I really don't where it comes to Schmeichel I personally love the is he actually not no okay no he's playing I was gonna say we're in rivals just leave it's not champs but with Oh, beautiful. With, obviously, uh, the goalkeeper as well, it's the design that personally makes it for me. And I don't think that's a bad thing, to be honest. I, I personally just go with whatever untradeable keeper I've got. Obviously, Casillas was the big one for a while. I <laughs> just love attackers when they try and get the keeper. You never know where anybody's going to go with a goalkeeper as well. But when you kind of go with all of the keepers that are untradeable to you, if you've managed to get a Van der Sar, then absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you've got Schmeichel, even if you're using just a team of the season keeper... All of them have been fine. Now, obviously, some I've used more than others. Chesney, I've given his fair shame a share of about, I think, about five to six games. Whereas someone like Casillas, I've given a couple of hundred. Courtois Gold, I've been doing for quite a while. Allison is at his team of the year out, his team of the season. That's definitely done a decent amount, but. It's still been fine no matter, even if you've used them for one game or not. The big thing this year is a lot of people are not scoring outrageous goals. Like, you might be shooting from here or someone might take a volley like that. But realistically, keepers save that. that that's that's a like a 99% chance of going in. If it goes in, you're probably ripping your controller to shreds and you, you just can't believe you look at the moment. But normally what happens is you get something like this. I think he's offside. Whereas... 
you are making the odds of scoring a lot less. And it's definitely a way in this game now is, is to really hammer down that. You see it massively in, obviously, in um, the pro scene. When you've kind of got a goal, instead of like shooting from here where you've got the chance to miss, they'll do that. They'll they'll optimize their chance to give 100%. They don't want to shoot and give away possession if it means a 60% chance of scoring. If I've gone for a power shot from just to the edge of the box, I've gone for a shot here and instead I can and pass it to Elise. That's kind of the chances. And I don't expect keepers to save that. Because realistically, they're not going to. Like, keepers won't save a 100% chance that is going in. Because it's just impossible. That That's the whole point. And doing stuff like that. Maybe if I was a little bit more skilled, I'd bring the ball back after he's kind of made that animation to fall over. And I pass it to someone and it's in. The keeper physically cannot do anything. So, when it comes to being able to save the normal shots... A little bit of goalkeeper movement might not go amiss, and it definitely does pretty well. And then it's kind of down to, is he a thrower? Is he a kicker? We obviously see uh, the Edison kicks are massive, whereas someone like an Allison is much better at the throwing, I believe, anyway. Especially if they have got the far throw playstyle. It would have been really interesting this year with the playstyle pluses. How much effect they have on... Uh, how on earth has he got that? On a striker and a midfielder and a centre-back what would have been the real effect that we would have seen from a keeper with playstyle pluses? Especially with some of them, like, comes for crosses. Would they be... Oh, you're kidding me. Would they be completely broken? Is, is he kicking it out? No? Would they be broken, or is it just another thing that, that you've kind of got to go for? Because it would be interesting then to see, is there actually a more meta keeper with playstyle pluses? Because we know full well that... Some centre-backs, not necessarily that it makes them, because most definitely stats still make the card. But does it make them that slightly uh, that slightly bit, I'm trying to get Elise here, a bit more enticing compared to your standard version of them? Ooh. I need the Elise goal, please. That's my free. There is, I was going to say, there is no way that I've given a foul there. Please don't leave before. I kind of need Elise to score this. I'm trying to get his evolution done. Can we do it? We're going top left. He's not going to move. Oh, he is going to move. Beautiful. And whilst we're waiting for him to leave, um, as you can see as well, with the chemistry style, it's the biggest question I get asked for a goalkeeper. And I don't... Let me know down below what you think about goalkeepers. I never really put a chemistry style on them. I don't see the point in it. When you look at the basic on him, 99, 95, 98, 99, 57, 99. I mean, I, I don't think I need anything else. And really, handling is fair enough. Like, okay, we could get that to 99. But realistically, it's not that big of an issue to not uh, to not put a chemistry style in. Where on earth is he going? I should have put Elise up front. In fact, that might have been a little helping hand for him. So it is, it is an interesting point with the chemistry style. I've always gone with a basic. I don't think there's anything that really make it that much of a difference. Is he going now? Beautiful. Hey, we got somebody else with Schmeichel. Ooh, well, Valverde red as well. In the right wing, I don't know about that one, but, I mean, he's probably going to change formation. So, I think when it comes to the basics of him, he's tall, he's 6'4", so he's a good height for a goalkeeper. That's probably my only criteria for a goalkeeper, to be fair. Stats-wise are impressive. The card design is absolutely incredible. I think this is possibly one of my favorite icon covers or icon dynamics that I've actually ever seen. Get the save. See what I mean? That, that's the perfect one right there is, there's not a lot I can do there. He's got the ball in there. Obviously, defending's different. Like, I can, I can always do better on defending, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about, and passing apparently as well. We're talking about a goalkeeper, and if they've given you the chances like that, there, there's not a lot you can do. So, there's no point blaming the goalkeeper heavily on that, because... There's every keeper would do the exact same. Oh, I've got two people as well. That's why. So in, in terms of a keeper, I think he's absolutely solid. He's definitely got himself in the, the topper category, in my opinion. Other than Van der Sar, I'd actually probably put him second from the response I've had very early on with him. Normally with keepers, they take a fair few games to kind of get going. And I must admit, he's kind of just took it in his stride straight away, really. Oh, no. Oh, okay. We're, we'll leave it here because these two are incredible together. The passing is unbelievable. And that, that's kind of the keeper's worst nightmare. If you've got, especially two players, if you've got two players that can play together well, they can pass together, then there's not a lot you can do as a one-man army unless I'm going to be on that next level. 
There's not a lot I can do here, but we'll try and get one more goal or get a goal that might help. And uh, we'll see if they could score one more. We'll probably leave it there. Oh my, how on earth has he got himself all the way through? That's where the defending comes in. And that's going to be the keeper's pretty much only way of actually saving stuff. Is having your defense do the do the dirty work as well. There's going to be the run. Can we flick that in? Go with the aerial. Oh, could we get a lee save from here? He's got any free kicks. 92 power. Surely that's enough. Oh, has he got... Of course, like, why would you not have two men on the line? That's unbelievable. I'm going to go for it anyway. Is there enough curve on the edge? Oh, with the crossbar. That's what I mean. This is the problem when you go against two people, and it's why I absolutely hate it in rivals. Because if they're just too good, like, there's not a lot you can do as a one man. You can't mark two at the same time. You can barely even kind of stop people from passing around the back. So what are the chances that you could do that beautiful so it is it is a little bit annoying but that's besides the point in a schmeichel review oh that's unbelievable oh could we take the lead this could be the final goal i need for bar uh, for uh elise so just a brief overview of the keeper then so when it comes to his price, he's coming in at, what's this, a new one, 305. I feel like he'll pretty much just stay at that sort of thing, and then and then eventually he'll drop. Uh, I could see Denmark getting the two goals, to be honest. I think if we're talking for the progression of him, I, I could I could definitely see him getting the upgrade. Two goals for Denmark. They, they've done wonderful things in the Euros, so I, I'd imagine they definitely should. Whether it gets to the four, again, I think people forget how many... How many goals are actually scored? Like, sometimes there can be some free games where you do get quite a few. But, I mean, it, it's going to take something special. So, whether we see the four, we'll absolutely take it. But, at the minimum, I'll take just a one upgrade from him. When it comes to keepers in terms of my rank on them, I'm personally a big fan of Van der Sar to start with. Then Schmeichel. I'd then even go, to be fair, I've seen good from from Oblak. But, I haven't really played with him. I've played against him. So, I... I wouldn't be able to say that he is either massively better than Allison or if they're on that same sort of level. Six foot two, uh, straight off the bat when I'm looking at sort of in the, 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 the stats of him, I'm thinking he looks good whether he actually plays. I've tried the gold card at the start of the game and he was okay. You can normally get a feel for especially a, a real player, a Courtois, Allison Edison, once you get the gold card and normally when they kind of upgrade, you kind of get the gist of if you'll like them or not. But I think in Schmeichel, solid goalkeeper, love the design at the minimum, highest rated goalkeeper on the game. What's your thoughts on him?